morning hey guys welcome back to another video today i am going to be doing a day in my life kind of video i if you can't hear lost my voice last night don't know how we just had a couple like fireball shots and this is the result i don't know i did some yoga today though so that's why i have this little this little number this has turned into my favorite workout set ever i have it in lavender and now in this like beautiful teal color this voice thing is going to bother me the entire time i'm filming this vlog if you follow me on instagram you guys already got the link but i'll be linking it below in case you're interested they come in different sizes and in my opinion they run true to size like not too tight um but yeah i'm going to put my little mat away and try to do something productive today Eric got me these beautiful sunflowers, but it's dying already and it's been like three days. Let's. You guys, do you see this light situation? So I told Eric that we needed a new pair of lights and yeah. All right, so I'm having a little dilemma. I mean, I feel like you can't even tell in this video, but The light in the kitchen is yellow and it's been bothering me so much oh my god i asked eric to bring me a blue white light but i got yellow twice not once but twice so <sighs> men all right all right don't mind the 27 pillows right now but you guys already know that I have been in a crocheting kick lately and I am trying to finish this little piece right here. So I'm going to quickly jump onto that. By the way, if you're wondering about all of these pillows, we turn our couch into the day bed and have kept it that way since quarantine. So the more pillows, the better when it comes to comfort. Quarantine things, we got so used to having the couch open as a day bed that we kept it that way and now we can't go back so before i start crocheting i get asked so much for me to do videos on crocheting unfortunately i won't because it's just more to my plate to be honest with you and there's so many great tutorials on youtube already so if you're interested there's a bunch of crocheting videos you just have to like google it or search it like crocheting for beginners crocheting a blanket crocheting a sweater and you'll find videos for it obviously at first it's hard but i don't know there's so many crocheting videos that i don't think i'll jump into that bandwagon of making content for crocheting but i personally have been crocheting for so long now a couple questions that i've gotten about crocheting is um like how long have i known I learned to crochet when I was, I think, 13 or so. I took some classes. They had classes in my school, I remember. And I just took it for fun. I remember I used to do this in my lunch break. Like, I used to be such a loser in middle school. But I appreciate it now, and I'm so happy I know. When I first learned, I used to tell my grandmother, like, why don't you know how to crochet? You're supposed to know how to crochet and she just she doesn't know how to crochet i feel like because movies paint grandparents to crochet and knit i always like figured my grandmother should like know how to crochet you know but anyways my mom actually knows the basics of crocheting so we used to do it together sometimes but now i feel like i surpassed her <laughs> like i know how to do more than she does which is fun Long story short, crocheting is honestly so therapeutic for me and I feel like it's very relaxing. And if you either suffer from anxiety or just want to find a new hobby, I feel like crocheting is great. I personally know how to do both. Like I know how to crochet and knit, but I prefer crocheting more than knitting, if that makes sense. Anyways, I have such a mess. What else can we talk about? I feel like my voice is so raspy. I can hear 
myself sounding weird and this is low-key worrying me because what if i'm getting sick again don't want to get sick especially during coronavirus i don't think i fully talked about this but i came out um antibody positive or like i had covid basically when i thought i did so i took the test like the regular blood test and they came out positive and then i'm hearing that the antibodies don't last long so basically you can get covid all over again so moral of the story is be careful regardless and i've always been careful so hopefully you don't get sick again anyways enjoy these clips of me crocheting for a bit is what it looks like it's a little big on me i'm still trying to figure out the sizing but it's really pretty all right so i just changed because i have a quick little shoot that i have to do i'm going to do my makeup all right and we are looking like a human again <laughs> just going to film a quick IG story and photo and then move to editing to then submit. By the way, look what I did with my favorite plant. I feel like you can't. I'm starting to like move her up here so she can cascade. This one's also getting long. I now have to do my nails because the photos need to have like neutral nails and I have purple nails right now. Uh, so I am finally going to be showing you guys how I do my manicures because I get so many questions asked on IG stories since I'm always showing you guys my nail colors and today I'm going to be showing you all the things that I use and how I paint my nails to be completely honest with you it's all about practice like the more you practice the better you'll get at painting your nails and the better you'll get at doing it perfect that being said practice 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 because you can definitely get better so let me go and get the things that I need for the manicure so these are the colors this is the base coat that I've been using is this going to focus or not all right so this right here is the base coat and then this one is the top coat that I've been using and then I want to choose a neutral shade so either this one this one's cute too. All right, so these are all of the essentials that I use when painting my nails. Starting with nail polish remover. This one is 100% acetone from Target. I have the Blue Plus Cross, which is a cuticle remover. This is amazing from Amazon. We'll be linking down below for you guys. And then a cuticle remover that I, realistically speaking, use at night, every single night. This is amazing to keep your nails hydrated and for you to get less cuticles. So then for colors, I am going to be painting my nails from one of these neutral shades. And then for tools, I like using one of these little sticks, the cuticle remover and a regular nail clipper, and then this little buffer. I feel like this is going to be so hard to properly show, but just basically follow what I'm doing. All right, so now applying the cuticle remover all around the nails. Right now I take the buffer and buff every nail. All right, so now onto the cuticle oil. So I like to start in the center. Again, this is going to be so hard to share. 
I like to start in the center and then just brushing it outward slowly. And my best not to touch the skin. But if I do, I just quickly clean it out with my nail. So that is one coat. To be honest with you, this is how I personally like to paint my nails. Like I put it in between my legs and then paint it this way because I feel like I have a lot more grip than painting my nails on top of a table. But for the purpose of the video and you guys could see better, I did it on the table. All right, so I actually ended up painting my nails over the color that I chose to so this pearly one and it's so beautiful. But again, there's no secret touch. Honestly, it's all about trial and error and the more you practice, the better you get. And my trick again is cleaning off the brush, starting in the center and then moving side to side really carefully. And if you mess up, there's no problem. You can always fix it with a Q-tip. Yes, I had to put up my hair to paint my nails because they would get everywhere. But since I painted my nails, of course, I have to take a little five. Did I mess it up already? No. I have to take a quick five minute break so I don't mess up my nails as I am filming the IG stories. So just going to chill for a little bit. Let me get my phone. I feel like I've mentioned this, but I have been obsessed with this game recently called um, Parcheesi. So good. It is so, so good. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play some Parcheesi as my nails dry. All right, update. I actually filmed the IG stories and photo that I needed to take. So now I have to sit down and edit and submit. I feel like I can't talk. I need to eat something, but yeah, forgot to record that. All right, so I just finished submitting the last part of my work today, technically, and I'm starving. So we're going to change this shirt because I'm really hot. Like I mentioned, I am really, really hungry. I don't know what to eat because I'm trying my best to change my diet, like to eat healthier, you know? You guys, this lighting in this kitchen is giving me anxiety with how yellow it is. So, gotta love it. All right, so hear me out. How about we get healthier tomorrow? Because I'm too hungry to think right now. Eric actually made some chicken, so I'm going to warm this up in the microwave and make some tostones with it because quick, easy, no hangry Natalie. You know? I'm so happy that you guys like my Nata Chef video, by the way. So thank you so much for that, first and foremost. Um, I hope to make more of those. By the way, I'm cutting the... All right, so I don't think I'm going to be making like a totally separate video on tostones because to me, is pretty self-explanatory, but I'll do a quick one right now. Peel the platano, cut it in little pieces like this. I have some oil right here and then I'm just going to start frying them and show you guys how I do it. Technically all you need for toston is a tostonera. This you can get at Bed Bath & Beyond or your local supermarket. So it looks like this and you just press it down like so. so I'm just going to start putting them in. By the way, you guys know how much I love the air fryer, but honestly, I feel like I haven't figured out the right way to make the stone in the air fryer that doesn't taste too dry because the times I've tried it, it just comes out way too dry for my liking. Okay, so after a couple of minutes, I'm just going to flip them. So it's been a couple minutes frying both ways. So I'm going to take the toston Put it right here and smash it. And then put it right back for a second time.
This is so hard doing it with one hand. So now I'm just going to flip them to evenly fry them. All right, and now taking them out. All right, so I'm going to just put the chicken to fry. And for the tostón, I do like to add a little bit of salt. Today is a different day, clearly I forgot to finish vlogging. I basically just got lazy and started watching my new favorite show right now, which is Obsesión Oscuros Deseos. Really good, it's with Maite Perroni, which I grew up watching her novelas, as well as the main actor or the young guy in the show. But anyways, today I basically am just going to be doing things around the apartment, picking up, organizing, because literally still the nail polishes that I shared yesterday are everywhere. And yeah, I'm also going to be doing some sort of stuff in the kitchen. Hopefully the pau de queijo or rice krispies. I don't know, but let's get to it. I have to start organizing. By the way, I didn't share this in my IG stories, but Too Faced came out with a new foundation or not new, it's just the same Born This Way foundation, but in the matte formula. It is so good if you like matte foundations. However, it did feel a little too matte for the summer, which is odd. But yeah, I am obsessed with the coverage and the color of this. The one that I got, or the one that they sent me, is caramel, and it's my perfect shade. I also love their um warm sand concealer that's the one that i use every single day to clean my brows but yeah really excited to have found a new foundation how i put sunscreen today just your friendly reminder to wear sunscreen even if you're not going out that's what it looks like it has 30 spf and it feels so so good on the skin Now onto the living room, which I actually cleaned, <laughs> but it's back to this, so. all clean I really wish I could clean as fast as it looks on camera but it doesn't so. so now that the apartment is clean I want to make this cake that Laura Mercier sent they sent a really cool package for their new um, translucent powder in the shade honey and they sent this honey drizzled cake mix like what it's I don't know it's so cool we have to try it out you guys, you guys already know the deal. I'm hating this light in this kitchen, but we're gonna move past it, okay? We're gonna move past it. All right, let's see. Okay, so mix, cake mix, one cup water, half a cup of vegetable oil, three eggs. Don't have any eggs, so. Well, that lasted long. I don't have any eggs, so. <laughs> I have to wait till either Eric gets here and we go to Whole Foods or I text him and ask him to bring some eggs. I really wanted to go to Whole Foods though and get a couple other things. So what else can we do today? I have to clean the um, my medicine cabinet in the kitchen. I know, weird, but I have a medicine cabinet in the kitchen. So this right here is my medicine cabinet. I also have a bunch of other stuff up there, some camera equipment. I don't even know what's in there. But I have to organize this because I truly, everything is just like hanging by a thread. So 
let's do this quickly, I hope. All right, maybe it doesn't look clean, but it is. I got rid of so much and I can finally use the stuff in here. I also had a bunch of things expired. So make sure to go through your medicine because, you know, these things expired and it's not good to obviously eat. I also found this water bottle, which I received in the mail and then I just literally lost it the same day. So glad to have that. As I was cleaning, I also found these eucalyptus seeds that I bought on Amazon to plant this year and I totally forgot that I even had these. So I'm going to plant them in one of these. All right, so updates. I am going to go outside. As you can tell, I have my reusable bag here, another one inside in case I need it, love face mask, and I am going to try my best to buy the eggs and a couple other things at my local supermarket. I also want to get some wonton sheets because I want to make some wontons for the first time. Um, but yeah, pray for me. Let's go. We're back with the eggs and a bunch of other things that I didn't technically need. Okay, so I'm actually going to have a snack and watch a little bit of Netflix and then bake because it's all about balance. Remember when I said earlier in the vlog that I was trying to eat healthier? It's gonna have to be after I go to Whole Foods. <laughs> so I'm just gonna eat what I have, okay? Look who's home! Me. Playing Xbox. Yeah, just beat the gulag, baby. Come on. Do <laughs> me like that. Alright, so tell me no. Tell me that this is not different lighting than the one that we just had. Because Eric swears that it's not white light. So, cake mix. So for the wontongs, I'm going to be linking the video that I'm following because it's just gonna make more sense to be honest Since I'm just winging it, but I have an egg sriracha cream cheese and goat cheese mixed together because I only had half of the cream cheese um, some What are these Eric called the onions and the wonton wraps? so So it is done. I still need some practice folding these, but these, as you can tell, are fried. And then these we did in the air fryer. Honestly, these look prettier. And then I made a little sauce here. And then to freeze, I finished making the mixture that I did. Are you trying the air fryer one? I think I like it more. Mm -hmm. All right, so just finished the wontongs. They were so, so good. And now we're going to try the cake that actually looks so delicious. Very excited. Okay. I wish we had frosting because I feel like it just would taste different. Damn, it feels really moist. Mm. It's got a little lemon to it. Oh my God. It tastes like a pound cake. I don't think you really yeah. need frosting. A little bit would help though. All right, so I'm going to end the vlog right here. We're going to watch a little bit of Ozark and call it a night. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully I'll continue to make this a routine. Peace.